Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Main Quest Part 13 on Master Difficulty. No, not that one. Master Difficulty. There we go. Master Difficulty. Now the first thing you want, you're going to want to do if you uh, need to go up this mountain... Oh, I already equipped it. Well, my mistake. You can equip clear skies. And you shout at the, at the, shout at the wind. Now we can pass. Come on, Lydia. Oh look, more fog. And less fog. That's the big gimmick here. You ha the fog only clears for a, a while, see how it appears behind you again. So you want to keep moving. I mean, it does give you more than ample time. In fact, I've never actually been caught in the fog from taking too long, but... I'm told it can happen. Just move at a remotely reasonable pace, you'll be fine. Now, how is that goat surviving up here if this stuff was tearing my flesh off? It is sometimes best not to ask these kind of questions. Carry on, little goat. Oh, look. A bridge. Oh, and an ice race. Bad ice race. Down. Lydia, help me out. Ice race are kind of scary. Okay, they're really not, but... They do decent damage if your uh, ice resistance is really bad. They also got a weird hitbox. You kind of got to smack them near the face, even though the whole body looks like it should be hittable. And it's dead. Now, when you kill Ice Wraith, they always drop Ice Wraith Essence, which is a resist uh, frost potion. Also, Ice Wraith Teeth for alchemy if you're an alchemist. I say grab the essence, you never know. We might fight more. Oh, too close. We might fight more dragons later who uh, breathe ice on us, or maybe mages who throw ice bolts. It's useful. Oh, another one. Go on, Lydia. Do your job. You're the tank. Have I mentioned how useful it is to have a tank if you're not wearing a lot of armor? Oh, I think I just hit Lydia. My bad. And another one down. Yeah, the climb isn't that difficult. I mean, even without Lydia, you're not fighting much besides a couple ice waves. If you're, um... If you're a miner, if you, if you craft through, uh, smithing, there is some nice veins of different ingots on the way. You can definitely take advantage of that. They are, I'm not going to show them all. They're all over the place, but trust me, they're here. And, uh, yeah, you can actually get a decent set of orcish armor out of this climb if you find all of them. I mean, if you have the perks to make it, of course. There's Orc Calisium. That's what I'm getting at. Now, I do like this climb. I find it very cinematic how you get so high up you can't... You can kind of just barely see the other mountains below you. I think it's a nice, uh, a nice cinematic climb. See the Skyrim's equivalent of the Northern Lights up there? More mountain goats. Does everybody love mountain goats? Whoop, another one. A lot of ice waves on the way. Can't believe I didn't hit Liddy with that one. Oh, my face hurts. I'm gonna back up a moment. Yeah, master difficulty. Honestly, guys, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, I did it for this LP because I wanted to, you know, show you that it's very doable, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it doesn't add any fun to the game. It just adds frustration. But that's okay. If that's your thing, this will get you through it. I mean, look, this is one ice wave. They're, they're tough, but they're not, you know, that tough, and it still gives me some crap here. Wait, wait. wait. I'm kind of nervous I'm going to hit Lydia if I'm not careful, but I'm trying to... That should get it. Come on, burn it. Or not. There it goes. Good, good kill, Lydia. Good kill. Let us continue up the mountain after I get more with this health... Uh, wow. With this frost... Oh, potions. Up and up and up we go, higher and higher up the mountain, to fight more Frostwraith that are inexplainably here. Well, not really inexplainably, I guess it is a freezing mountain, nothing else could survive up here. Besides goats, of course, because goats apparently can survive any degree of weather. 
That was news to me, but Skyrim taught me something. Up we go. I'm gonna take a moment to just look out. I mean, look, you can you can barely see the world below you. That's how high you are. It is a nice effect, I think. All right, we're almost to the top here. As you can see, we got another one of those, uh... Ow. Apparently I stood a little too close that time. Not a big deal. Patch myself up, carry on. Oh, here we go, throw over to the world, we're at the top. You guys ready to meet the Grandmaster of the Blades? Because I know I am. Well, right after I kill this dragon, hold that thought. Oh god, here we go. It's on. It's it's on. Drem Yolok, greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. It's not on? Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I, I wasn't expecting a dragon, but uh, I'm at your Strumar because I need to learn how to kill your boss, the head dragon? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Uh, yeah, I need to learn how to dragon wind. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Are oh, one of those formalities sticking your nose in my face? By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thumb. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Okay. The word calls you. Go to uh, it. Okay. I kind of like that. He burned a water power onto the side of a of a dragon wall. A gift, Dovahkiin. Yol. Understand fire as the dove do. Thank you, Parthenox. I, I appreciate it. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as dove. I actually do like this shout, especially if you take the time to power it up. Fire Breath is pretty cool, in my opinion. Let's check it out. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Uh, happy for you? Hey, where you going? Uh... I guess he just likes hanging out over here. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Uh, a lot of things, but let's just go with Dragonwind. That's probably the priority here. Ah. I had expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak. With an old. I like Dover. that word. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Uh, yeah. How would you know that? Um... Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove. 
the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. That's not helping me one bit, uh, Parthenax. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Uh, because Alduin's gonna destroy the world? I kinda liked it here. It has sweet walls. Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being- Wait, are you accusing me of abortion because I want to save the planet? Uh, look, the next world will have to take care of itself, yeah. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus. Maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Mm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? Well, dragons like mountains, don't they? That's... I mean, they like mountains and large piles of treasure. That's just how it goes. Mm, true. But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Mm, yes and no, Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Well, that is a fair point. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Wait. So what you're trying to tell me? I know an Elder Scroll. You don't have to tell me that, Parthenax. It's that the Nords basically threw him to my time because they didn't want to deal with him in theirs. That's great. Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever. Forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day... He would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How did this help me any? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. 
If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Now, interesting fact here. There's actually more than one Elder Scroll in Skyrim. I want to say there's three. I can only recall two offhand, and I'm only going to be showing you the storyline one for the main quest. But if you have one of the other ones and you know where to get them, you can use those instead. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm, yes, we know two very old, very scholarly people. That's who I should talk to, I agree. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Okay. I, uh, don't need to ask him any of this. I've got enough out of him. Drem your look. Greetings. Yeah, I don't need to ask you any of that. Sum Ark Mora. Yeah. Parthenox really likes to talk in dragon tongue, but luckily for us, he generally tells you exactly what he said in English anyway. Speak. I will listen. Alright, there's one thing I want to get him to say real quick. Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scroll's bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a. a seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleith, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun, the Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Uh, I think it's this one I need to, to ask him. The bottom one, Master of the Greybeard, do I come here to train? Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Yeah, well, how did that work? Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. Now, basically, he's gonna pretty much give you like a bonus to one of your shouts of your choice. Uh, you can switch this later. You can just switch it to between the three whenever you want. Yol, he just taught us that fire. Fime, I'm not even sure I have Fime. That one's actually brain farting right now. I never use it anyway. Fus, being Fusro Da, Force, 
throw people. I'm gonna upgrade Foose because I use that effectively in combat a lot. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Force without effort added. Thank you, Parthenox. Look through. Look through, Dover. Now, what that did. Go to a little thing here. Fortify. No, not that. Force without effort. Here we go. See, they all give you a bonus. This one makes it where, well, you can read for yourself. Enemies stagger more when I hit them, and I stagger less. I like that. I like it a lot. It doesn't really do anything for Fusro Dodge itself, but I like it nonetheless. Now, we're just coming up here because I want to show you guys something. Assuming I can find it in a timely manner. I forgot to, to look up the location of this, refresh my memory before recording today. Because I wasn't originally planning to show it, but somebody asked to see it, so I'm going to try and oblige. Basically, if you climb to about the top of this mountain here... Come on. A little higher. Come on. Yeah, mountain climbing in Skyrim is not exactly uh, graceful. I'm pretty much just scraping up the edges, hoping to find a spot where I can, you know, scale better. Trying very hard not to fall and go splat. Where is it? Why do you guys ask me to show you things like this? No, that's okay. I don't mind. Wow, I'm really having trouble getting up this thing. I know there's a pass somewhere you can use, but I'm, I'm not uh, having much luck here. I probably passed it like an idiot. Come on. Wasting time here, people. Let's go. So much wasted time. Lydia, stay down there. I'll be back for you in a minute. Just just stay there, okay? Alright, it's gotta be right here you go up. Everywhere else was just a sleek mountain wall thing. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Almost. Almost. Yeah, I don't have good commentary right now. This is kind of a spur-of-the-moment request from someone. I didn't plan it, so bear with me. Come on, get... There we go. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Pretty sure it's at the top. Yep, yep, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Right here. There's a whole bunch of ebony, uh, ores up here. Some malachite. Well, okay, ebony and malachite. About two or three of each. Pretty useful if you're a crafter, but that's not what people want to see. This is the big thing. The notched pickaxe. This is a unique pickaxe that is enchanted with fortify smithing. Now, what it does is... <coughs> excuse me. What the Nox Pickaxe is a reference. It's, 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 uh, talk... It's making a statement about Minecraft. The, the creator of Minecraft's name was Notch. But we're not playing Minecraft. Yeah, that's right. We're not playing Minecraft. I was actually trying to launch that, but apparently it was, uh... Stuck pretty hard onto the side. Let me try this one more time, because I told somebody I'd do this for them, and... Well, I told them it would become a pain in the ass, but they want to see it, so here you go. I will I will symbolically banish Minecraft from Skyrim, alright? Happy now? It's gone forever. No more Minecraft. Or it's just down there somewhere, but... Gone enough for me. Deal with it. So, we can talk to... Eingar or Esburn about, you know, about the, um, where we can find an Elder Scroll. I'm going to talk to Esburn because, well, I Arngear is a lot closer. You get there a lot quicker than having to go all the way back here. And But at the same time, 
you know, Esbern wants to help me. Arngear just kind of gave me the one around and tried to trick me into thinking there was no dragon rend. So I don't trust anything he tells me anyway. He does take you to the same place. It's, just, it's a principle of the thing. I don't want to work with a man who's going to lie to me. You, you all can understand that, can't you? Hopefully, anyway. So up we go. As you can see, he took no time in getting cozy, laying out all of his scrolls and lighting the place up. Wow, they had a lot of food. Uh, hmm. Oh, probably should just wait till now to get Dragon Rend. It would have been brighter for you. Sorry about that. Hi, Lydia. Now, what we want to do to find him, especially during the day, they, they do go to different parts of the tower, but during the day, they spend a lot of time out here. So that's why I'm... Yep, they're out here. That's what I figured they'd be. The uh, courtyard I showed you before, this is why I showed it to you, so you'd know it's here if you're looking for them. This is a lot of the times where you'll find Esbern and Delphine. They like it out here. They like it a lot. Come on. I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, and the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, and in the clouds that marked the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again. This time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize. But in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams, I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, a roar, a challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon you. Fire, darkness descending. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldred, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. That's actually pretty creepy, Esbern. Were the Greybeards any help? Did they know anything about the shout used against Yeah, they did, but I need to talk to your buddy here. Ah, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. Ah, indeed. And there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you'll find in your local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. Did his voice actor just change, like, in mid-sentence? I've always thought, got thrown off by that. It's it's weird. Now, here's a little side quest you can do that you can only do uh, during the main quest, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's very short, very easy. You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out and I'll perform the proper rites. Yeah, pretty much. You talk to him. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. Yep. You just talk to him before you... If you know you're going to fight a dragon soon, you can talk to him. It, easy as that, you get the Dragon Slayer Blessing. 
for the next five in-game days, I get a 10% increase. Yeah, last only a short while. Five in-game days. I get a 10% more chance to critical with every attack on a dragon. It is pretty useful, in my opinion. I mean, they really got the place set up quick. I wasn't gone that long, was I? Well then. I'm just going to talk to Delphine really quick, and then we're going to end the video. Uh, today was just a storyline video, but next time we're going to be going to a pretty big, expansive dungeon. I would say possibly the most beautiful dungeon in the entire game. So, that should make up for the fact there's not going to be a lot of bloodshed today. Delphine, oh, there she is. What do you need, Dragonborn? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. Side quest I was talking about? If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Yep, it's very simple. All you do... Bring any follower, like Lydia here, to Delphine, tell them, you know, hey, I brought you a recruit, and she'll actually go through this whole big ceremony to induct your follower into the Blades. They'll become an official member of the Blades, and when you go out hunting dragons with the Blades, which you can do, you can, like, go out as a whole organization to fight one dragon, it's pretty fun. Then they'll go with you. The thing is, though, when a follower joins the Blades... They become a blade. They're not your follower. They're a blade now. That's why I'm not going to do it with Lydia. If you guys want to see that, let me know, and I will make a point of getting another follower, bringing them here, and showing you the little uh, ceremony they do when you uh, recruit a blade. I just wanted to give you that option. It's nothing critical. It's completely skippable. But if you want to do it, you know, feel free. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here. Get a little panoramic view of this awesome-looking temple. There we go. So I am Nosgard Silverclaw, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.